Will you read us a bedtime story? No. Pretty please. The physical appearance of the please makes no difference. It is still no, so go to sleep. But we can't. We're all hyper. And without a bedtime story, we'll just keep getting up and bugging you. All night long. Oh, fine. All right. All right. Sleepy kittens. Sleepy kittens. What are these? Puppets. You use them when you tell the story. Okay, let's get this over with. Three little kittens love to play. They had fun in the sun all day. Then their mother came out and said, time for kittens to go to bed. Wow, this is garbage. You actually like this? Keep reading. <sighs> Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Three little kittens started to bawl. Mommy, we're not tired at all. Their mother smiled and said with a purr, fine, but at least you should brush your fur. Now you brush the fur. This is literature? A two-year-old could have written this. All right. Three little kittens with fur all brushed said, we can't sleep, we feel too rushed. Their mother replied with a voice like silk. Fine, but at least you should drink your milk. Now make them drink the milk. Oh, I don't like this book. This is going on forever. Three little kittens with milk all gone rubbed their eyes and started to yawn. <sighs> We can't sleep. We can't even try. Then their mother sang a lullaby. Good night, kittens. Close your eyes. Sleep in peace until you rise. Though while you sleep, we are apart. Your mommy loves you with all her heart. The end, okay. Good night. Wait. What? What about good night kisses? No, no, no. There will be no kissing or hugging or kissing. He's not going to kiss us good night, Agnes. I like him. He's nice. But scary. Like Santa. <laughs> <laughs>